here with Phoenix Kidding moments before his Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week Australia show. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling calm and, and in control of the situation, good I think, for today. You. Yes. Now tell us, what do you draw inspiration from when it comes to designing collections? I get it from everywhere. Um, I look, it usually starts with music or, you know, an old lady walking down the street or um, it's been aeroplane wings, it's been anything from, you know, some amazing 50s image or something Everything and anything. Everything and like. anything. This season was like, was lots of music, lots of kind of 90s raver music, <laughs> lots of prodigy, which you'll hear on the runway today. Yeah. And um, uh, I kind of, yeah, I did more emotive I think this is actually. Now this is your first full ready to wear collection, correct? Correct. This is what my first 100% ready, ready to wear collection. So I'm tell us about what we're going to be seeing throughout this collection that you're going to be showcasing. You're going to see a more wearable Phoenix mm -hmm. piece. You're going to see something that you can literally take off the runway and wear every day. Literally? Um, can I do that? Literally can you can. <laughs> Definitely we can sort <laughs> Great. We can sort that. Perfect. We can sort We've that. got that on just... camera. I like that. That's good to know. <laughs> easy now, peasy. Now, obviously, you you're an incredible designer. How did you begin? You. Tell yeah, us yeah, the I am. story. I am, yeah. <laughs> Tell us Thank the story you. of how you began. Um, look, I was kind of thrown into it at a very young age. Um, I did lots of courses uh, when I was very young and learn how to pattern make, learn how to do all of that at a, at pretty, at a very young age and, and um, did a mentorship with an ex-fashion designer. And yeah, just, just kind of learnt my, my trade and did a collection and my friend was like, let's do a, let's do a show off, off, off schedule obviously. Yeah. And so I put a collection together and did a show and got thrown into it kind of Amazing. baptism by fire. So I was about 18 when that happened. Um, so obviously I kept learning and growing through that ex those experiences, and and you, you can follow through, and it, it's all very theatrical and stuff, and just learning now how to uh, connect with my client. Yeah, yeah. Connect with my client, make things that are really suitable for the Phoenix City woman and that you don't just wear out to a fabulous night, a fabulous ball, a fabulous yeah. event. Although you do need those fabulous moments. Oh, but now you're the every you're all all occasion man yeah, to go to. I am. Yeah. Now obviously Essie, we've got Essie showcasing yes. the nails today. Yes. So and I heard you've done like a feature yeah, so, stripe. Um Ali came to me with this uh, concept, the negative space nanny. Mm -hmm. Which I found really interesting, and we kind of played with a few designs um, on just a nude, you know, a nude yeah. shiny nail. And we came up with this just one stripe down the centre, and we found that it really elongated the hand, and it was this really beautiful, you know, yeah. simple, beautiful, elegant, and it really went with the collection, so we were kind of like, yeah, bad, let's do it. I think I might have to go get a negative few of space. these. Yeah, yeah. Some, I might get some Ali's negative space. Set up, going, going, going. No, I'm not going to hold you up because we are moments from the show. We so, are. Yeah. good luck and thanks for chatting with us. Thank you so much.